hi welcome to another video on my channel and in this video we are going to look at how to change the subject of a formula or in other words transposition right so you might see this linear representation right here for a linear graph but this is actually a formula that we can transpose all right so we'll go down into more details as to how we'll go about doing this so in mathematics to transpose is to move something from one side of a of an equation to another right so we can move things across to fit the form that we actually want right so that's a process of transposition or sometimes we can have so for example we have y equal b plus c right we can rearrange this formula or transpose it so that another variable apart from y becomes the subject so in this case y is the subject because y is by itself and y is equal to two other variables so we can rearrange this through the process of transposition or changing the subject in order to make c the subject of the formula so in the equation x plus 3 equal 2y you can solve for x by transposing 3 to the other side of the equation which will change its sign and give you x equal 2y minus 3 right so this example is actually here what it's basically saying is that you can transpose 3 to the other side so you can subtract 3 from this side and subtract 3 from this side as well these threes will cancel and you're now left with x equal 2y minus 3 so in this case x is the subject of the formula here all right and we can also make y the subject up here if we divide both sides by by 2 All right so y is equal to x plus 3 over 2 so we'll go down into some more basic examples to help you understand fully what we are doing so change the subject of each formula to the letter that is given in this case a equal 3b plus c 4b Normally, when they say for B, they wanted to make B the subject of the formula. In this case, A is the subject because A stands by itself and A is equal to other variables. But you can change the, you can rearrange the formula through the process of transposition or changing the subject and make B the subject. Alright, so let me rewrite this down here. So we have A equal 3b plus c so in order to make b the subject we have to get b by itself but look at this now in order to get b by itself we need to remove c and we need to remove 3 right so how can we remove c from this side if we subtract c right and let me let me put some space right here. Let me put the A right here. So if we subtract C from this side and also subtract C from this side again, balance the equation. And so anything I do on one side, I have to do it on the other side. So we subtract C over this side, subtract it over here as well. So these C's will cancel and we are left with a minus c equal 3b so how can we get rid of our 3 now right 3 and b are being multiplied and if you notice up here the c is is being added to 3b so whenever it is being added in order to remove it you have to subtract it so we, act, we carry the opposite operation and right here now when it is being multiplied we're going to carry out the opposite, which is division. So you divide by what you do not want or what you want to remove. So we divide by 3. 
That side and we are balancing the equation so we divide by 3 over this side as well. These threes will cancel and you are left with a minus c over 3 equal b or you can put b at the front b equal a minus c over 3. That's for b. Next one now. So p square minus 3 equal 2q for p. So they want p to be the subject of the formula right here. Right? They want p to be the subject. So let us rewrite this. p square minus 3 equal 2q. In order to get to p, or to get p by itself, we need to get rid of the 3 and get rid of the square at the top. So we have to, we have to move two things. Right, we have to move this 3 and we have to remove this square at the top to have the P by itself. So for this part, let, let's, let's look at this now. So 3, it's a negative P, or we're, it's a negative 3, or we are subtracting 3. So we have to add 3 to both sides. So we add 3 right here and we add 3 over this side. And this will form a zero up here. So negative 3 plus 3 gives us zero. Those will cancel. So you're now left with p square equal 2q plus 3. So we're getting closer to have p by itself. Right? So how can we remove this square now? We remove this square by doing the square root. Right, so we always do the opposite. So square root sign, remove the square. And square, remove square root sign. So whatever I do to one side, carry it out on the other side as well. So we square everything over here now. So this will leave us with P equal square root of 2Q plus 3. So we have P as the subject right here. Hope you're getting the hang of this and realize that we only carry out the, the opposite operation in order to remove what we don't want. So 3d plus 4 equal f 4d. Let's rewrite this. 3d plus 4 equal f. And we need to make d the subject of the formula. So in order to make get d standing alone by itself now, we have to remove. We have to remove the 4, this 4, and we have to remove 3. How can we remove this 4? If you look at the sign in front of the 4, you realize that it's a plus 4. So if it's a plus 4, do the opposite, minus 4. Whatever you do to one side, carry it out on the other side as well, minus 4. Right? So this will turn to 0. And you're left with 3d equal f minus 4. Now we're one step closer now. How can we get the d by itself? We need to get rid of this 3. The 3 and the d are being multiplied. So you carry out the opposite operation to remove the 3. Opposite of multiplication is division. So you divide by 3 on that side. Divide by 3 over this side. 3 into 3, 1. That will cancel. And you are now left with d equal f minus 4 over 3 for d right looking at number 4 now h plus 7 over 2 equal e for h let's rewrite this h plus 7 over 2 equal e and we need we need to find we need to make h the subject of the formula all right so to make h the subject of the formula, we need to remove the 2 and the 7. Right? Now, before, before this, we never had a denominator. We only had something like h plus 7. So when you have a denominator, what you do is you multiply this side by the denominator, in this case 2. Do it to that side and you have to carry out the same thing to this side as well. So these twos will cancel and they are left with 
h plus 7 equal 2 times e, 2e. Get in there now. So how can we get the h by itself? We are adding 7. So if we minus 7 from this side, we'll get rid of that 7. And we have to do it to this side as well. These 7s will cancel. And we are left with h equal 2e minus 7. Hope you are getting the hang of this. So anything that we want to remove, we actually do the opposite of that. So this, so number 5 says, S equal F plus 1 over 2. And all of that is under the square root. So in order, we have to make F the subject. So to get to the F now, we need to unlock the square root right here. How can we do that? Alright, so S equal square root F plus 1 over 2. Everything is under the square root. We need to go for F. How can we unlock the square root? Carry out the opposite. Whenever I say a square root, you have to square it to remove it. So we square that side and we have to square this side as well. Right? So we are now left with S square equal F plus 1 over 2. Need to get to the F now. So we need to remove 2 and 1. Let's remove the 2 first. So we multiply this side by 2. This side by 2 as well. These 2's will cancel. Right, so we are now, let's turn this around. So we are now left with f plus 1 equal 2 times x s square. Give you 2 s square. And we need to make f the subject of the formula. The 1, so we need to remove this 1 now. The 1 is being added, so we subtract the 1 from this side. Subtract it from this side as well. This will turn 0. And we are now left with f equal 2s square minus 1. We we'll make f the subject of the formula in this case. And for number 6, we have, alright, so let's look at number 6. So we have p equal m plus n square over 3. We need to make m the subject of the formula. So how can we get to M? We have to carry out some operation here now. So if we if we multiply both sides by by three, let's remove the three first. Alright? By three. These threes will cancel. And we'll now be left with three P equal M plus N square right we need we need to get to our m so we have to unlock this bracket but we have a square at the top how can we remove the square carry the opposite you square root it that side whatever you do to one side carry it out on the other side as well so we'll now be left with square root 3p equal m plus n because this square root sign actually remove the square right and we need to make m our subject so the only thing that we need to move now is this n so we subtract n from this side have to carry it out on that side as well minus n these n's will cancel and we are now left with 3p all of that under the square root minus n equal m and it doesn't matter whether you have the the subject to the left or to the right you still be correct so 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 root 3p minus n equal m is the same thing as m equal root 3p minus n so thanks for watching and please tune in to other upcoming videos Please share and subscribe to the channel and let's all have a good mathematical experience. Thanks for watching.